Hey there guys, Daniel from Serverlands here. Uh, we're gonna be showing you how to create your very own server. Uh, we're gonna be using an Trinity Core server, but still that uh, the process is pretty much the same for Azeroth Core and many other uh, emulators out there. So I'm using a VPS right now. I got this specifically. It's a brand new Windows server. Um, so I can do it from scratch and uh, we're going to be starting with the program requirements for this whole process. So I myself am using a Google Chrome, uh, but it's it's pretty much the same. It's just a browser. So let me just start with. Oh, yeah. So the first thing we're gonna be uh, doing <laughs> is uh, go to the server manager over there just to uh, disable the whole annoying extra security nonsense gonna be configuring this bad boy here and IT enhanced security gonna be turning this bad boy off Thank you very much. I don't even think we need a real time protection, but that's just me. All right, I'm gonna be going to this Trinity Core installation guide. We are using Windows, so gonna be getting all the requirements for Windows. The links are available on server lands as well, uh, but still I'm gonna be using these most up to date uh, links so you guys will know where to get everything I'm gonna be using the community one, not the web community. I am using HeyDSQL. It's like they say best for beginners, but I really got used to it. So, I mean, it's not just for beginners. I, <coughs> I just really like this uh, software. Net frame, well, this bad boy here. Net frame is from, if I'm not mistaken, from role based, yeah. Several roles, uh, features, yeah, it's this one. Now we have 4.7, this one requires. 3.5 yeah no we have the higher one uh, we are going to be using the 64 version 64-bit uh, so obviously we will be getting this uh, the first link also says right there <laughs> in case you didn't really notice it um, see make can remove all of these. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't download Hades go. Oh shit, no. I thank you, thank you, thank you.
uh, when you downloaded the uh, the CMake software, make sure you do not download the um, release candidate one. Uh, release candidate is RC. You should be able to see it around here somewhere. Uh, make sure you always get the latest uh, release. That is not a release candidate. That is uh, very important to notice. Obviously, we will be getting the 64 bit. Uh, open SSL. And I believe that is it. Uh, in here, like with CMake, you cannot download a release candidate because it will not work. The light version is not the full version. We need the full one, so we do not. We will not download the um, the light version. I think they said they say here you need to download the G G one, but I think the L will work work as well. So. Just gonna give it a shot and as you can see again win 64 version so once all of these bad boys here are done i am going to install every single one of them 